to Midford Pottery. Got a little different one for us today, which will be how we go about doing some luster. I've had it for a while and dabbled in it, and then sort of never got around to do anything. But I saw um, at Potfest there was a ceramic artist, and she does sodium silicate crackle but she'll put a special gold lustre mark in them which is what what we're going to attempt to emulate today so I've got a few test pieces which I'm going in so as you can see on this one we got our gold lustre in that fissure there uh, the only thing I have noticed uh, it does bleed out into the clear a little bit so I don't know whether that'll go because what tends to happen with luster if it's not thick enough it goes purple um, which I've had it done on other bits of work I've tested but we're going to give it a go so it's literally got one special gold mark on there that's going to go in we also these recent ones out of the kiln uh, as you can see that fissure there is going to have that's got the gold luster in it and a one on the opposite side just there so we got that one and our little vase which we did I've tried to sand that one so it doesn't bleed out as much but I don't know how successful that that might look horrendous when it's finished I don't know I may need to I just ran some sandpaper over it but and that one's got one on the other side in there and that one so we'll see what they come out like and another couple of experiments we did some uh, some coasters so these thick coasters and these have got engraved we have a T try not to drop them we got a tea and a coffee and I filled them up with the gold luster so I'm hoping they'll look really nice in the brown and the gold and they'll be some exotic coasters for your tea and your coffee so they're all done awaiting the kiln um, so the luster I use is Scott from Scarver and the directions are when you fire them it's only a low firing so you got to get to between 700 and 800 so I usually pick 750 and it's a slow process so it's a hundred degrees an hour so it's going to take roughly seven hours and we'll keep our fingers crossed so they're going to go in shortly we will fade in and out and we'll come back with the results when they're done so I'll see you in a few Okay, update for our luster. Uh, it's been a while in real terms, but we have some results at last, which are over here. Mixed results, shall we say? So, so we did this little, this little vase. So if you can see on there, that's the gold luster. Now. I'll just uh, I'll turn the camera around so it'll get better. So you can see the gold here. Can you see the gold? Too bright, that's better. See the gold? It's got a bit purple. Now that's what happens when it goes a bit thin. I'm going to attempt to dremel that off got one on the other side which is worse that didn't the luster didn't take it all on that bit it's just purple so we'll try and dremel that out I don't know how deep it goes though 
next one, which is a bit better, we got that one there. The camera doesn't actually do it justice. And then on the other side, we got that one. Again, a little bit purple, which we'll try and sand out. We've got a jug. This one come out much better, as you can see there. I don't think there's one on the other side. No, just the one on there. Again, a, let's just rest it there. A little purple around that edge there, and a bit there. But that one's not come too bad. And the next ones, which are much better, are our coasters. Put them up so we can see them. So that's our iron ore glaze, and that's gold luster in there, and it's come out really nice. And as a comparison, we got. This is our platinum luster. Just come out nice. So, so that was our luster experiment. Um, partial success, I would say. Uh, we will attempt it again. I think on these, the the fissure that you put in the gold in needs to be quite wide, or I need to use a different technique rather than just a paintbrush to get the luster in. But we shall see. Anyway, the coasters come out good. So they're just stoneware. These, this is a different type of clear. This is uh, Raku clear, actually, as far as I can remember. So it's a bit groggier. Let's come out nice. Comes out white as well. But I'm pleased with the coasters and the jug. Five out of ten for these other two. We'll see what we can do with the Dremel. So again, thanks for watching. Remember, clear is the way. See you soon.